So what is a moving average and how do I use it in my trading? Okay, so I'm gonna take you through one of my favorite tools um, that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for every trade setup that I analyze goes through a moving average um, kind of analysis. So let's just start with the basics here. Uh, here's your basic clean chart, uh, a one minute time frame on the S&P 500. And we'll just go straight to the indicators. Uh, and you're going to go to scroll all the way down here to whatever kind of moving average you like. I like the exponential moving average. Some people like the simple moving average. I like the exponential because it just smooths out price over time. So moving average is, is, is actually um, a function of price and time. And so I'm going to go ahead and add this to my chart. And I'm going to pick a period. Let's just use a period of five for this one. And we'll color that one yellow. All right. Now we're going to apply it to our chart. Okay. So this is an exponential moving average. Hang on. Let me make sure that I can. Let me just thicken that up a little bit. All right. We'll keep that gold. We'll make that a two. Uh, and then I'm going to make that on bar close on each tick. I like to see uh, the moving average move. Okay. So let's apply. Let's take a look. Here is your five moving average. See how it just hugs price and cuts right through almost the center of price action. It's a very, very tight, uh, a five period is a very, very tight exponential moving average. Okay, so let's, let's change it up. Let's see what does, if I take that and I double it, let's go to a 10, apply. Okay, you can see it gets a little bit, a little bit loose, a little bit more loose around uh, the edges of price. Okay, let's double it again. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now we got a 20 day moving average uh, through these big wide bands here. It'll cut through the middle, through uh, big moves. It will leave these big moves, come back to these big moves. Uh, it is the, the average moving price over a 20 bar period. So the last 20 bars, this thing uh, is calculating the average. And so what you can use this for is you can play uh, trades off of this, or you can use this as an indication of overvaluation, undervaluation. You can take a look at different price action moves and qualify uh, different moves if they're moving in the direction that you want them to move, or if it's confirming some sort of a, a price flow for you. Okay. So when you see price, like right here, break away, uh, break down, uh, fail to close above here, fail to close above one, two, three, four, five times, and then breaks down, retraces, fails again, uh, that could be an entry, right? And then it just kind of keeps going, right? And then the same thing, we close hard close above, uh, we get a, a, a soft close below, below, confluence with a, um, sorry, confluence with a um, uh, structure level that I've got here on my chart, price launches off that structure level, um, closes hard above uh, this moving average, and then you get your, your your pullback and your entry right here. Another trade opportunity right there. So uh, it depends on what, what you like to use them for. So now let's take it to the next level. Here's what I like to do with um, moving averages. That's just a single moving average. So let me go ahead and add another one to my chart. Another exponential moving average, EMA. And these are just native Ninja Trader um, uh, apps uh, that you can plug on your chart. All right, so let's go with the five on this one. No, I'm sorry. Let's do a nine on this one. Okay, and I'm gonna change this color to something different. Let's see, we have a gold, let's go with a medium blue. And I'm gonna change that, actually let's go with a lighter blue. Royal blue, how about that? All right, apply. Okay, so now we have a nine exponential moving average and we have a 20. So there's it's a very common, um, common one that people like to use out there, a lot of traders like to use I know is a nine and a 21 and they look for crossovers and we're gonna get into that here in just one second. Uh, and then on each tick, and then on each tick, 
apply. Okay, so here is, you have, you have your 21, which is this yellow line right here, and you have your nine. The nine is gonna hug price a little tighter than the 21. And so right here, look no further. Look no further right here. We just had it happen live on your screen. We had this, um, this nine moving average crossover, right? You get a short on this side of it. Then it crosses over again. Nine crosses back across down 21 on this big move. You get a retest right in here, short to the downside, short to the downside as you retest. And now price violently breaks above, closes above here, and then trickles through. As it's crossing over and converging, bam, you get another trade right there. That is the value of these. You can play these crossovers. And I'm going to show you a tool that I like to use from Ninjacators. And let's see. So I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to show you a pretty cool tool where I'll delete these just regular exponential moving averages. And I'm going to go into the Ninjacators moving average crossover. It's a really cool tool um, that helps visualize what it is we're talking about in, in terms of crossovers and you can even start to identify trends pretty well too so let's go through that here for a second so change this top to an ema you apply it to your chart right uh, and then you're going to change this to a nine for the first one like we just had right and then you're going to do the second one here to an ema and you're going to change that one to a 21 uh, and, and the reason people choose 9 and 21 is because um, there's there's been a lot of historical back testing on a lot of different EMA crossovers. And 9 and 21 is just a very popular one. There's a 3450, there's the 513, uh, there's the 50 and the 200 for the longer term trades. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of different pairs of them out there. You can research them. It's very easy to research that. Um, all right. So now let's go down to our criteria color logic we're going to leave the color alone but on crossover uh, we want to plot the color and then we want to do it on that one and then we want to trend change all right let's just go ahead and apply and see what we get okay uh, and i need to do one more i need to bar fill where's the fill color all right there we go so this is kind of a cool tool and I'll walk you through this one that, that just shows you different trends um, that are out there this is again on a one minute chart so here is let's flip this to a five minute all right okay so this is a great tool to assess what kind of a trend you're in blue is obviously an uptrend on the blue you've got your uh, nine exponential moving average on top you've got your 21 on the bottom and then it flips as it as it goes over to the red so as it flips you can see uh, and and i i highly recommend uh, you go back through a few days a few weeks uh, a few months even uh, of data and back test your combination of uh, exponential moving average crossovers that works for your particular market your particular time frame if you like to trade bonds if you like to trade the nasdaq if you like to trade uh the uh gold if you like to trade uh crude they're all going to take a very different approach um for and and, and the time frame so you're going to want to back test those to make sure that you're getting and shedding off good signals from this uh for trend changes but this is a great tool to um um, to analyze uh, price changes. It's a great tool to qualify some entries. Uh, it's just an overall great tool to add to your um, arsenal. If you like this and you want access to the tools, check out Ninjacators Fast Track with the link below.